Rachel. There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell. Oh, hello everybody, Famous Scrub here. Welcome back to playthrough number two of Angels of Death. Uh, the first playthrough we managed to escape Zack, the psycho killer. Not before he took her head a couple times, but that's okay. We're back in the game. And now we're on basement five. And we're trying to find a way out of this hospital. And I don't really know much other than that. So let's go ahead and explore around a little bit. Oh, okay. Are you a normal person or are you another killer? Question mark. Wait, Rachel. It's me. Huh? Do you not recognize me? I was the one who examined you. Okay. Can you try to remember? I, I'm the doctor who gave you counseling. <phone rings> counseling? What? I agree, Ray. What the hell? The doctor who examined me? Rachel, what's wrong? Look, it's me, Dr. Danny. You can trust me now that I'm smiling and my eyes kind of like, one's like kind of messed up. Don't worry about that. Um, flashback time? Daniel Dickens, AKA Danny, blood splattered name. Um, could it be? Dr. Dr. Danny, my therapist. Therapist? You're a little confused, huh? But I don't blame you. This place is horrific. But rest assured, it is I, your therapist, right? What do you mean, right? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Ah, that's right. Yes, doctor. What do I need a therapist? Goods, besides all that, you're safe because I guess my parents' death or something? I don't know. Doctor, what on earth is this place? Also, something was chasing me. What is that thing? Hmm. I'm not entirely sure myself, but the thing that's chasing you is probably the psycho killer. The psycho killer? This place. It's like a site for some kind of game. Being hunted by a psycho killer and a good is dead if caught. It says that it chases its victims. Are you not hurt, doctor? I was here when I came too. It looks like there's no other staff here but me. Doctor, I'm absolutely petrified. The, Rachel, it's perfectly natural to be scared. No, nah, man, you shouldn't be scared. You're just trying to get murdered in a weird, strange place. Nothing scary about that. At any rate, let's get going. If possible, I'd like to get through this whole ordeal alive with you. Yes, doctor. <laughs> She's so weird with him. Like, yes, doctor. Where did he go? He's, he's fucking gone. Medical chart, a lot of it appears to be eye-related ailments. Uh, do I need anything in here? Computer shows data regarding eye ailments. Okay, we're really into eye ailments, apparently. Um, bed is neatly made. Aren't your eyes tired? How about you take a nap? At a time like this? You're right. Wow, Rachel, we must be sharp as a tack to take notice of something like that. I don't trust this fucking doctor, okay? I'm just gonna come out and say it. I do not trust this guy. Oh, it's locked. I'm pretty sure there was a key in the examination room. This is the examination room. I don't... Oh, there it is. Something's on the chair. Acquired a key. Nice job, Rachel. I'm pretty sure I was sitting there. You didn't try to escape? Well, I was worried about you. This fucking dude... Uh, we can't trust this guy. He's up to something. Besides, you got a good head on your shoulder, so I know you'd make it this far. This dude is so up to something. Let's see if I can remember. Hospital ward key. Um, doors open. Perhaps the way out is further towards the back. Let's proceed with caution. I do not trust you for one second. Uh, it looks like there's multiple rooms. I think the one in the back is the way out, so shall we look there first? I want to go in this room. I guess you're not going to let me. Nope. You're making me go... Okay, that's walled off. The glass wall is blocking the way to the other side. We're glassed in. As fate would have it, it appears you and I are trapped. What is this? Why is he so happy about this? This way is locked too. Shall we look elsewhere? We'll be fine if we stay together and take our time. Maybe it'll lead to something good. Something good for the both of us. 
guys. Okay, now the doors are open. Ah, this must be a private room. For patients? Yeah, a special one. Oh, a door bed with a fucking cage around it. Wow, cool. It says emergency call button, but it's already been pressed and is unusable. Oh, let's read what's on this wall here. Do you know what your heart wishes for? Is it desire? If that is your impulse, then there's no point to resist. For being here, you possess no such essence. However, every wish has its price. Just don't break the rules. Rules. Yeah, I, I agree, Ray. What the hell? There must be rules for this place. For instance, that guy chasing you hasn't followed you all the way here. There's got to be some set of rules this place follows. What do we wish for? What does that mean? Well, different strokes for different folks, I guess. For me, it'd be... A set of beautiful peepers. I got a bad... Oh, you do have a bad eye. I'm sorry I made fun of you. I've fun of that before. Uh, don't care for its color, either. Rachel, if I had peepers like yours, that would be so lo oh so lovely. Oh, fuck. Are you gonna try to take my eyes? I feel like he is. Okay, let's get out of here, I guess. Uh, try this room. Hmm. This is a patient's room. Don't be scared, Rachel. It's just a bunch of beds. When you say don't be scared, I feel like that's exactly what I should be, is scared. Oh, fuck, something's written over here. There's something written on the wall, but it's covered in dust and illegible. I gotta get rid of that dust. I wouldn't do that if I were you. You'll get something in your eyes. There's surely just some sort of patient's frivolous whimper. Just a regular Joe's psychological gripe, that's all. <laughs> I don't believe you. Can you make it out? Nah, I got a bad eye, so it wouldn't do much to read it. But the dust. Stop right there. You don't want to get anything in your eyes. Okay, this dude's... He's losing it right now. Take care of those beautiful peepers. Those beautiful, beautiful peepers of yours. Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get them peepers? Hmm. There's a glass window, but it has no depth. It looks like a prop. Some sort of scratch marks are on the window. Fucking great. Rachel, do you know what these markings are? Hmm. There's a hint. Patients made those scratches. So what is their significance? They're trying to get out? Beats me. That's okay. Markings made by patients are of no consequence to you. Oh yeah. Come to think of it, I had the key that leads to the back. Feel like taking a look at that? A look there pretty soon? Of course, it's been a pleasure being with you, though. Dude, this guy. Okay, we'll use the key. Okay, I'll open it then. It's dark, so be careful. Uh -huh. Oh, fuck. We got some blood splatters. Awesome. An operating room. Yes, Rachel. I'm a little scared. Just a little. I shouldn't be like nuclear scared, but I'm just a little bit scared. Scared? Why? Hey, Rachel. Your peepers. Can I admire them forever? No, you may not. Huh? Don't get closer to them. What are you doing? Oh, Rachel. Your peepers are so beautiful. But they're stricken with fear. Reduced to such dullness. It saddens me. Show me the true beauty of your eyes. Will awakening from this nightmare restore the beauty, beautiful tranquility of the blue moon in your peepers? I don't like how he keeps saying peepers. Rachel, I, I long to live beside those peepers. I'm 13, guy. Yeah, it's time to get away. Doctor? Let's take a moment to look around here. Maybe I'll find something. I left something important around here. I gotta find it. Maybe you'll find some peace of mind too, Rachel. I don't think so. Shit, I should probably leave? Rachel, it's dangerous to go out by yourself. Damn it. <laughs> of course. Appears to be a device used for surgery. Okay. Rachel, are you going further? It's dark in that hallway, so be careful. If you find what I'm looking for, then please bring it to me. What are you looking for, Doctor? 
Did you forget? Look at me with those beautiful peepers. I know you'll remember. What the hell? Here's a clue. My eye is Alexandrite. I no idea. What is this place? Is what you're looking for around here, Doctor? Probably, but I mean, we shouldn't be here. Numerous eyeballs are bobbing up and down in what appears to be a case containing culture fluid. These are eyes. They're all blue, like mine. Huh. Hmm, I wonder. Numerous glass eyes are inside. Which one should I take? Alexandrite. Um, fuck, I don't know what color that is. Probably blue. He seems obsessed with blue eyes. Acquired the blue glass eye. Some sort of machine is running. Let's see. Hey here, doctor. Aha, Rachel. Is this for me? You know I adore blue eyes, much like yours. But I don't need a blue one. To your peepers, this pales in comparison. For peepers of blue, all I need is you. So he needs green, I guess. Uh, green. <laughs> is it going to be red and I'm going to have to go back again? Green, I see. Did you pick this out for me? Rachel, I could could I have slipped into your subconsciousness, but you're getting warmer. Point your beautiful gaze at me. It's just me, Dr. Danny. The fuck? This makes no damn sense. What is going on? I guess we'll take the last one. A liquid filled bottle has something floating around inside, but part of it is crushed and the liquid is murky, making it hard to make out. Whatever. Another eye, probably. Here. Rachel, what a lovely regless eye. I fancy this color. Is that why you chose this color? Were you thinking of me? Still, you were close. Close, but no cigar. I'll keep it, though, okay? What? Oh, Rachel. I was so careless. My glass eye is in a place that's locked. And the key was in my pocket. Again with the key in your pocket. You're such an idiot. Here. Huh? If it's alright with you, I'd like to find my eye. Hmm. Won't you do that for me, Rachel? I guess. I don't have much choice, apparently. Which one of these is locked, I... I wonder. This chest, I'm assuming. Right? No? No, oh, okay, maybe in here? These are eyes. Um, somewhere that's locked. Here. The glass eye is inside. The glass eye, it has two eyeballs jammed inside it. What? Okay, Rachel. Doctor. Fuck, Rachel, run. Oh, you found it. Rachel, run! This is what I was looking for. Is this glass eye yours? It sure is. Does it not make you feel anything? Remember anything? Hmm? Huh. You must be dreaming still. Mind if I borrow that? I'm just not myself unless it's in. I must have it in for both of us. What is going to happen here? What the hell is going to happen? Rachel. Here you go, I guess. Thank you, Rachel. I'm gonna put this in now. Could you go wait in the room outside for a bit? Holy shit, this is just gonna be... You mustn't run now. I feel like that's the exact same thing I need to do, is run. That's funny. He's acting strange. You think? I'm scared. Is it safe to stay and wait for him here? No. Hell no. It's locked. Doctor, did you do this? I gotta get away from him. I need to find something to open this. I wonder if there's something around here where the doctor was earlier. He was kind of like standing around here. Um, water's now running. I don't think I want to go in that room. This, maybe? There's an empty bottle and forceps? No. Surgical instruments. Uh, surely I'm not supposed to go in here. 
Yeah, I don't want to go back there. I didn't think so. Um, what the hell could it be? Something behind the... Okay, something's behind the apparatuses. Acquired a crowbar. This ought to take care of that door. Damn right. Won't open with just my hands. Well, let's pry it open with this secure crowbar. I'll just pop this into the gap. Just like so. It's rigid, but we're out of there. Thank goodness. Maybe. Just a bit more. There, it opened. Oh no! Oh fuck. Rachel, where are you going? I, um. Didn't I tell you that running is a bad idea? This is my floor. D -d Doctor? If you run off to another floor, then I can't treat you. Now, can I? Treat me? No, Doctor. My wish was just to gaze into your living peepers. But no, this won't do. Your living blue peepers are exactly what the doctor ordered. That's why I gotta ask you, Rachel. Whoa! Fuck that! Can I have your peepers? No! Dr. Danny! Oh no, he grabbed me. Let go of me. Run. Never, never! Oh shit. We're strapped in. Doctor! Oh, Rachel, your face. Stop it, let me go. The exuberance I loved is no longer in your people's peepers. It saddens me so, Rachel. Can't you remember why it is you're here? Why this is happening to you? If you could, then you'd redeem yourself. Let your peepers regain their luster and come live with me, Rachel. I don't think so. No? Hmm. Please, doctor. Please let me out of here. Rachel. Still, your peepers are more breathtaking than another person's by far. Ah, let me go. I want to see my mom and dad. Rachel. There, there. You'll see your mom and dad in good time. They're waiting for you. In hell. Holy shit. Ah! Whoa, what the fuck? What is happening? Okay, Rachel, give me your peepers. No, thank you, sir. What are you doing? Stay the hell away from me, Rachel. What is fucking happening? Uh. Rachel. Rachel. Oh my, your peepers are... So beautiful, it never ceases to amaze me. Get the fuck away, dude. Here, I'll release you from this right now. Alright, let's go, Rachel. What the hell is happening? Oh, I'm, I'm as happy as a lark. You? Oh, shit. Nice! Wee! Saved by the psycho killer. Hey, Danny, what are you so happy about? I couldn't take any more, so I slashed you. Hey, little missy. Going after you got me in a hell of a mess. Do you want to live? If you do, then run. Run and squirm. Cling to your hope. Time to get slashed. Uh. Huh? I, that, I guess I don't want to live? Hmm. Shit. Yawn, what a dull reaction. Even with the tip of my blade pressed against you, don't you have the will to live? I guess not. Hmm. I'm a respectable male adult, so I'm not into shredding emotionless dolls. What? <laughs> Betrayer alert. The sixth floor master has attacked the fifth floor's master. This is a violation of the rules. Along with Rachel, the, the betrayer also is now here by a sacrifice. Oh, look at you, Zach. Now you're in my shoes. What now? 
Ah! No fucking way. Shit, better run for it. Are we gonna run for it too, or no, or what are we doing? Oh yeah. I'm not meant to live. What? Ray, you f are you giving up? You giving up on us? I guess, I guess we're... Hmm, the doctor's eyes, they're shut and I can't see them. Whoa. The fuck? Should I be... Oh, the glass is broken. The glass wall is shattered. Cool. Shit, it won't budge. Not even if I beat on it. What the hell am I gonna do? Hey, I have a crowbar. Who the hell are you? You don't remember. What are you doing showing up like you own the damn place, huh? Um... I got a favor to ask. Huh? Please. Kill me. What? Yeah, what the hell? Blarg! He just threw up. Don't ask me to do creepy shit like that. He just threw up. What the fuck? This is so weird. I got no time for crazy bitches like you. If you're just gonna spew out creepy shit like that, how about getting this door open? You got it. <laughs> what the hell? Crap, I don't know how to open it. I suck at this big time. The elevator door is shut. Uh, gross. Why did, that's so weird. Like this dude's a murderer and yet us asking him to kill me fucking made him throw up. Do I have to go back to, oh, I bet I, I, bet I need to go back and see what uh, that person wrote on the wall. Now that this idiot's not here to get in our way. Wipe away the dust. Hmm. Help, help, scared, scared. First there were three, but now I'm alone. They're coming, they're coming. Of us three, only, only I'll be killed. They'll kill me like that's a natural thing. Who let them free? Help, help God. God. God would forgive someone who was killed, right? Oh, wow. This is so fucking weird. I guess I'm gonna go back to the doctor's room. Maybe something on his body? Inspect his pocket, yep. Priority key. Oh shit, he's alive still. Did you see that? His, he opened his eye, I saw that. Shit. Alright, let's use this key. Key's not to be, meant to be used here. Hmm. Where the hell do I use it then? Over here somewhere, maybe? It's a computer, but it's turned off. There's a computer, but it's turned off. It's locked. But use the key that's in the doctor's pocket. Okay. Elevator control room key. Door's unlocked. I know that guy's gonna wake back up. There's a switch that says elevator passage gate. Press the switch. Boom, we got it. All right, let's go, Ray. You apparently want to die so bad now. I guess to go to heaven so you don't go to hell. Is that is that your theory? I, I don't... What did you do that's so bad that you think you're going to hell anyways for? Whoa. Hey, are you the one that opened this elevator? Yep, that's right. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> so it was you, huh? Hey, didn't you say earlier that you wanted me to kill you? Sure did. I'm such an idiot, so yeah. Let's work together to get the hell out of this place. Then once you're frolicking outside with a gosh dang stupid grin, I'll... kill you. Thanks, Zach. You're so fucking awesome. So nice of you. Hmm. Really? 
Well, that is if you behave. Okay. <laughs> what? All right, now let's get the hell out of this place. What? Isaac Foster. Zach. Hey. I got two rules. No fucking around and no prancing around all merry-like. <laughs> I got a big problem with fuckers who look so happy. Whenever I see him, I can't help but kill him. Whatever you say. Yeah, you're so freaking weird. Well, with that dead look in your eyes, I probably ain't got to worry. Basement four. It's chilly here. Shit, we're still only on basement four? Let's get out of here already. Move it. Okay, guys, I think we're going to end it here. Uh, wow. So this is weird. So now our whole goal is to escape and be murdered by Zack. I, I don't quite understand what's going on or why. Um, I'm sure it's going to explain later on or why she feels like the need to die so much. But uh, I don't know. That's what this game was about. They said it has a really, really weird and interesting story. So it's very interesting and weird so far. But we'll find out more uh, next time, I'm sure. And maybe... I don't know, see just what exactly happened to Rachel to make her uh, just feel this way. I don't know. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.